YouTubers, welcome to another video. Today we'll be doing an unboxing video. I got this big giant box here. I got it from a collector. He uh, sold off his um, entire NES collection. Not a big collection. He said about 50, 60 games in his collection. I don't know what's in here because when I messaged the guy I'm, that I was interested in his collection, he ha he didn't have any pictures. He said se he wrote down selling my entire collection. So I asked him to send pictures. And then when I messaged him, he said, hey, you're the guy from YouTube, right? The F Fine Trades Gaming YouTube. Somehow the guy, f the guy messaged knew who I was because uh, also the fact that he's located in Canada. So maybe... I don't know, but he knew who I was and he said, let's make it fun. I'll shoot you a price where no matter what, you will not lose or overpay. No matter what, you will underpay for all of these games. Make it a mystery. I'm not even going to tell you what NES games they are. So I don't know what's in here. We're going to go through this mystery box of NES. It's almost, to me right now, it feels like... We're opening up something like Loot Crate or Arcade Box, something like that. But we know it's the NES stuff. So let's get on cracking of the mystery NES box. Before we do, let's go Canada Post. Let's go through the entire box. Show you the entire box. Look at that. That's a big ass box right there. So let's get cracking. Well, look at this. It. it the box was wrapped inside this paper. So that's looks like the seller really took pride in protecting not only the games but the box as well. Look at that, it's another big ass box. So let's crack open this box and hope the games are inside this box. Well, box is open. Looks like each game is individually bubble wrapped or or they're put into stacks. So let's pull them out one by one and let's see what mystery NES games we've got. Let's see, we got one stack. Two stacks. Three. Four. Five. Six. <clears throat> Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we got twelve stacks here, plus down here more protection bubble wrap so seller took pride in protecting all the stuff in the shipping okay so box is empty so here we go we have 12 stacks to unbox let's get unboxing right now let's go to stack one see what's in stack one let me grab my trusty knife So let's go through the first stack. What games are in here? Now yeah, we got Super Pitfall. It's a fun game. We got Rescue. We got Super Mario Bros, the irregular one, not the stupid Duck Hunt Mario Brother combo. We got the good version of Mario Super Mario Brothers. Ooh, we got Predator. Good movie. Eh, okay game. And last game in stack one. Snake Rattle and Roll. I never heard of this game ever. Anybody know what this game's about? Let me know in the comment section below. Never heard of Snake, Rattle, and Roll. Alright, so that's... <clears throat> that was the first stack. Let's go to stack number two. Let's see what's in stack 
Number two. We got Cobra Triangle. <coughs> we got Street Fighter 2010. Gyrus. Wizards and Warriors. Ooh, this one's a really fun game. I'm actually liking this one in there. Let's put this one to on to the side. That's a game I really. We got Tom and Jerry. Good show. Really good cartoon. Loved it as a kid, but game, I like it better on the Game Boy over the NES version. <coughs> now I want to <coughs> stack number three. Now, let's see what's in stack number three. We got Foxes, Peter Pan, and the Pirates. I hate this game. Well, I hate Peter Pan games in general. I love the Disney movies, but I don't like Peter Pan games. Eh. We got Golf, the most common known sports game on the NES. <clears throat> Robo Warrior. Ooh, a good fun game. Super Team. Ooh, Power Pad required. Hmm, I'm gonna put this one aside and I'm gonna... I've never seen this one, so if anybody knows what Super Team Games is, let me know in the comment section below what game this is. I'm gonna put this aside and do my own research on this. Final game in stack number three is, ooh, WC, WCW Championship Wrestling. I love this one because I'm a huge WCW fan. Gonna put that aside with the Wizards and Warriors. Now on to, all right, let's try to get this focused. There, now let's go on to stack four. Is that stack four one? Yep, stack four. <clears throat> All right, let's see what's in stack number four. We got video, videomation. Ooh, Bugs Bunny, Crazy Castle. Fun game, I really like this game. This game's going aside over here with the Wizards and Warriors and the WCW Wrestling. We got the uh, Road Blasters. Ooh, Ultima. I really love the Ultima series. I'm uh, I'm a big fan of Ultima on the PC and the uh, Macintosh. I'm gonna definitely put this with the stack of r good games here. Well, m my personal good games. I I really love, and they they are good games too in that stack, but. But, and, and then we got, uh, Bayou Billy. The Adventures of Bayou Billy. Try to get that stupid shit to, there we go. The Adventures of Bayou Billy. Now on to stack number five. Let's see what's in stack number five. Pull it out. Come on out, out, there we go. We got Xanic. Ooh, Double Dragon 2. Ooh, a really good game. Let's put that over there. I actually love the Double Dragon series on the NES. <laughs> that is a really good find. No. <clears throat> we got Werewolf. Looks like it's not in the best of conditions, but still a fun game. <clears throat> we got Super Spike V volley Volleyball, another very common game. Let's, let's, and we've got Bionic Commando. Meh. Now on to the stack number six. 
All right, let's see what's in the stack number six. We got Dungeon Magic. Ooh, a fun game. I'm gonna put that over there. We've got another common game, NES Action Football. We got Rock Rock and Ball. Ooh, another. This is the most popular known baseball game. Base is loaded. <clears throat> and we got Zav Focus. We got Xavius. Now let's move on to stack number seven. Let's see what's in stack number seven. So far, I'm loving this mystery NES box, and I'm loving, like look at that, I pulled some really good games that I put aside. I pulled this, which I don't know nothing about, but it says Power Pad, which sounds uncommon, but I'm not sure, and then some decent games there, but I'm loving this mystery box. So let's see what's in number, stack number seven. We've got roll, roller games. Got Super Glove Ball. Got it not in the not in the best of conditions because the SNK logo is being ripped off, but I carry Warriors. Ooh, we got a good RPG. Faxendu. Another good game. That's going over there. And then we got Wrath of Black Manta. Nah, not the best of games for ninja games. I'd rather play Ninja Gaiden, but it's still a pretty fun fun game. Now let's go on to stack number eight. So let's see what's in stack number eight. If, it, if I'm my guess, if it's just as good as what we got here and here so far, I think stack eight will be pretty good. Let's get the first game out. Uh, got xenophobe. Got. To the Earth. Got Solar Jet Man. <clears throat> and then the final game in stack number eight is. Kind of, seems like this pack was a little bit smaller than the than the games could fit, but still. And last game is Blastmaster. Now let's go on to stack number nine. Now let's see what's in stack number nine. We've got Dash Galaxy. Ooh, a fun game. I'm gonna put, it's not a very valuable game, but I find it to be very fun. I'm gonna put it over there. Next, we've got, not in the best conditions, but 10 yard fight. Um, one of those generic Nintendo sports games, but still. Ooh, we got the Simpsons Bart, Bart's World. Love this one, that's going over there. <clears throat> and then last game in the pot, ooh! Ren and Stimpy Show, Buckaroos. This one's definitely going here, too. Look at the stack of good and fun games we're getting. It's a good stack. Some good shit there. Now, we're on to stack number 10. I'm loving this mystery NES opening. This is amazing. Well, let's see what's in stack number 10. We've got... Tr trick shooting. Sounds, sounds odd, but... Mm. 
Next we've got Dream Master. Ooh, a fun game. It's a good one. Good. Next, oh, another sports game. We got Quarterback. Looks like we're getting a lot of sports games in the in this pile. I don't mind them, but we're still getting a lot. Ooh, we got the uh, Double Dribble. This is actually the more the more popular basketball game on the NES. And final game in stack 10, we got Pinball Quest. Ooh, I like the artwork there. Look at that. Look at that motherfucking skull right there. Badass Grim Reaper skull. So, let's go on to stack 11. We got two more stacks. 11 and 12. Let's Let's see what's in stack number 11. We've got Battle Chest. Ooh, fun game. Fun version of chess. Let's see. Well, we've got... Swords. Swords and Serpents. Ooh, another fun game. Another really good game. Putting that over here. And we've got... Oh, this looks like stack 11 was small. Oh, well. We did pull out a fun, a really good game in stack 11. And we got Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Now, on to the final pack of this mystery box. Sad to see this mystery box ending, but we all knew it was going to end somewhere, somehow, someday. And it's ending right now with the final stack 12. Let's get opening on the final stack. Mm. Let's see what the last stack of mystery games behold. Let's get to the end. We've got Kid Mini. Mm, decent game. We've got Raid on Bungley Bay. Never heard of this one. If anybody knows anything about Raid on Bungley Bay, comment in the comment section below. Never heard of this game. Next, we've got, ooh, the most popular hockey game, Blades of Steel. We've got Destination... What is it? I can't even read this. What the hell? Let's try focusing this fucking game. There we go. Destination Earth Star. There we go. Destination Earth Star. And then the... Oh, looks like we're at the last game. Oh, we hit the last game of the mystery box. Let's hope the best is for last. And... Spy vs. Spy. Ooh, a fun game. Not a valuable game, but a really good game. And I'm putting that over there. So, all in all, we got some really good games out of this uh, mystery NES box. And like I said, the guy I got this all of this from... He knew me from YouTube because he messaged me, he messaged me back saying, "Oh, yeah, aren't you the guy from the Fine Trades Gaming YouTube?" So didn't know what games were here. He just gave me a price. I know I didn't overpay for these, and I know for a fact I underpaid for all of these with the price he gave me, which I really appreciate what he did. And I really appreciate them the mysteryness out of it, not not sending me any pics. Or anything, just tell me they're NES. So, mystery lot of NES games. I really love this. Comment in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on some of these games? Comment in the comment section below. What do you think about mystery unboxing for games or and stuff? And now, as always, enjoy life. And keep on collecting.